What's going on? This is Big Bad Brad, and I'm coming back at you with the mother load of all pen hauls. Something for everyone. Parker, Coeco, Lamy, Estherbrook, stickers, shirts, pens, pencils, and so much more. Well, I just got back from the Chicago Pen Show. I was there all weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it was a blast. I got to see lots of old friends, see all sorts of amazing pens, vintage, modern, some real works of art, some pens that just blew my mind. Whoever thought there could be a $10,000, $100,000 pen? I never would have thought until the last few years, but now I've, well, I've seen a lot, but I can't say I've seen it all. Well, let's get right into this and let you see this collection, and then soon I'm going to be showing you Chicago Experience. I went there with the wife, the kids, and we had a blast. We all picked out some great things to add to our collections, and I'm going to be sharing them with you right now. So, let's get to it. not going to be going in any particular order but I am going to start off with some of the exclusive Chicago swag that was only available at the show. First up is the Retro 51 Anderson's Pens Chicago Illinois Tornado Ballpoint. Amazing looking pen. Great imagery. One of my new favorite Retro 51's. I've kind of been hooked on these lately. And I really like this one a lot. It features the Sears Tower on the side of the barrel. with the Chicago skyline. It's the Chicago, Illinois. With the Chicago blue and the Chicago flag on the top. Officially, one of my new favorite Retro 51s. So I got that Retro 51. We got a few Retro 51 things in this video, but next... For the exclusive Chicago swag, we got the Chicago Ring Ink Testing Book in the exclusive pattern, only available at the Chicago Pen Show. Next, we got two Chicago Pen Show coffee mugs. I actually bought one, and then. While chasing the kids around, I managed to set it down and lose it. I looked everywhere. I thought I was gone. I figured, well, no, someone finds this and add it to their collection. I also set these cards down. And I thought they were totally gone. But as I was walking through the show, I spotted them on the table. And someone set them aside for me and saved them. It was the Esterbrook Queen. And big shout out to her for making my day. She did it, so I had to pick up an Estherbrook pen from her. And this is the Estherbrook pen I picked up for my daughter because she really liked it. Nice cap activated red Estherbrook ballpoint pen. Great looking pen. My daughter loves it. And I'm a little bit jealous because it's really crispy. It's a great coloring to it and a very nice imprint. Right, on to the next pen, since I just showed you this Retro 51, I did pick up another Retro Tornado ballpoint pen, and it is the Pen World Exclusive Retro, and here that is. And when you bought this pen, you also got the latest copy of Pen World magazine. You got two of these. I picked one up and my wife picked one up. I'm really looking forward to reading it because I do like Pen World a lot. If you haven't seen one, make sure to check them out for yourself. I will leave a link in the comment. 
Yeah, it has this pen world and all sorts of different fonts. And a nice newspaper look. I really like it. Now I'm up to four Retro 51 Tornadoes in my collection. I hope to be doing a review and collection video soon to let you know what we have. But onward. Slide that back in the sleeve. Next up, I got to meet a longtime Facebook friend, Jonathan Valley, from the Leadhead Pencil Blog, and I managed to pick up one of his books, The Catalog of American Pencils, which is very, very informative with all sorts of information on the history of pencils. And he actually signed it for me. And he signed it in a pencil, and he put Chicago 5319 with the show date. <laughs> it has great images, lots of great history, and it's going to be very informative for me because I have a hard time finding lots of information on mechanical pencils, so I'm excited to go through this. I also picked up the stunning Order of the Leadheads Pencil Coffee Mug. Now, I can sip some coffee in style. Yeah, I kind of have a thing for mugs lately. I also got some nice Parker coffee mugs. So since I just showed you one of my books, I'll have to show you another one. And this one is just massive. And it's from Andreas Lambro. And Masamachi Tsunami, and it's Fountain Pens of Japan. And it is a huge, massive book with over 450 pages. And I'm quite familiar with a lot of U.S. pen companies. I know about a few Japanese pen companies, such as Platinum Sailor Pilot, and maybe a couple more. But this is really the book to have to get the know to get the knowledge you need on Japanese pens. And another cool thing is I got a good this for a good buy, a pen show price, and I also bought the book from the writer and he signed it and this is number two hundred and thirteen and this is Andre Andreas Lambro's signature right below. And I'll flip through a couple pages and kind of give you an idea of some of the awesome stuff that's in this book. Here's a picture of the author. And he also has some amazing pens. That just blew my mind. Some, some captivating artistic work that I've never even seen before. Here's some of the great imagery. But it skims through lots of these big old kaleidoscope looking designs made out of nibs and barrels and so forth. This one here is made out of sailor nibs. And if you like Japanese fountain pens, let me know what some of your favorite brands are and why. And it talks about history, shows all the different models. Here's another cool piece of artwork made from fountain pens. And my, so my fountain, so my fountain pen book collection keeps growing larger and larger. I keep buying them, but I haven't had the most time to read them. So hopefully, now that the pen show is over, after I get a few more things listed on eBay, I'm going to have some extra time to sit down and read some of my books. And I also plan on doing a video soon. To show you my fountain pen reading collection. Alright, on to the next item. This is a cool piece that was given to us from a fellow local pen collector. Right here in Janesville, Wisconsin. His name is Mike. 
and he knows my wife is the vector collector so he gave her this awesome gift which you'll understand once I open it up to truly see why physicians will prize a Parker pen you have to look at it from their point of view Let me open it up and then it's an x-ray of the Parker Vector a pen this renowned for durability on the inside can't help but make a lasting impression on the outside what an awesome marketing campaign idea and that comes with the Tylenol Cole the Parker Vector on the inside now this is officially one of my favorite pens Amra has in her collection up next there's some new pilots and these are the pilot crystal yeah pilot crystal in blue and a pilot crystal in pink these have transparent barrels with gold plated nibs great little basic pens I like the look of them they look nice together and they'll make a fine addition to the collection Next is a pen I've wanted to get for a very long time. I ended up picking this up from Atlas Stationers at their stand. They also have a shop downtown Chicago. If you're looking for some great writing instruments, go ahead and check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But this is the Lamy Studio fountain pen. And I got the, this is a limited edition color. And this is terracotta. And... This is more my, this is probably my nicest Lamy I own now, and I'm just in love with it. I love this unusual clip, how it turns, and it's thin at the end, and kind of turns upward and stay, instead of laying flat. It looks awesome when it's posted with this smooth chrome trim grip section. Only problem I don't like about the grip section, it does leave a little bit of fingerprints, but really doesn't matter when it's in your hand. This looks absolutely ravishing with a steel nib. This is a German pen and officially my favorite Lamy pen in my collection. And that's the Lamy Studio. They also came out with uh, a nice limited edition olive green color when they launched this which I would like to add to my collection also. Next, I got another issue of Pen World Magazine and a bunch of style files for late night reading or just relaxing on the couch or while using the loo. I got a whole bunch of these and I picked these up for a buck each, which is just an awesome deal for hours and hours of entertainment. And I'm yet to read a style file, so I'm looking forward to it a lot. Next is the pen set my daughter picked out. And this is the, the Retro 51 Traveler set. And it comes with this cute little billfold. Genuine leather has that leather smell that not many products have anymore. And I just love it. And it's a quaint little ballpoint pen. It has a loud, powerful clicking sound and fits perfect in my daughter's hand. She can pack this up in her purse for her doodles and bring it on the go or anywhere she wants. And it has a nice little stamped Retro 51 logo on it. And this was her favorite 
pen from the show. She said this was better than the Astrobrook pen. I like it a lot myself. Oh, one other Chicago exclusive. I totally forgot to mention at the beginning of the video was the Lake Michigan blue exclusive color. I love the wax cover on the cap with the wax stamp. It's a nice color. I'll probably be doing some social media pictures of this on our Instagram and so forth. But there was, also, there was even another color, which was bad, bad Leroy Brown, but it didn't call to me as much as the Lake Michigan winter. Amara also picked out a color of ink. She picked up a Mont Blanc Petite Prince Red Fox. Ever since she's seen this ink, she went absolutely bananas for it. And I think this pen is going to look great. And I think this ink's going to look great inside of my Lamy Studio terracotta. And bottle compared to my other Mont Blanc ink bottles. So now I have a little bit more variation in bottle types. In this line, let me know what your favorite Mont Blanc ink color is. <laughs> Here's another new item that we added to our collection. I'm looking forward to putting it onto my desk. These recently launched on Kickstarter and have been expanding. This is the portable desk set. You just, it suck, this is the portable desk set. It just suctions on any surface. Then you take your favorite fountain pen and you can stick it in there, and automatically turn it into a desk set. And you just pop it in there, and it fits all different types of fountain pens. Pretty neat. What do you think? Actually, it works pretty nicely with this. And this here is the Coeco Percale. It's a plastic Quacko cartridge fill fountain pen. But I really like the look of it. I picked it up and felt it. And it felt very nice in my hand. And oh, I like the look of it. So I like pretty much everything about it. So I had to get it. So that is the portable desk space from Good and Made Better. These are, were available on Kickstarter. I believe they have them on their store now. I will look into it and drop a link down below. But I picked this up at their stand at the Chicago Pen Show. One of my favorite purchases at the show. Here is another Queco I got at the show. And this is a Queco Sport in white and gold trim. I love it. It'd be a great vest pocket pen. And recent, <coughs> I've recently been picking these up. Queco's a German company. They make lots of nice fountain pens, modern. They've been around for a very long time, but I have recently just found out about them. But so far, I'm quite happy with their pens. I do plan on doing some more reviews of these soon. Well, a review of these soon. Some of the different pens I have. I haven't yet had the chance to. I've been very busy. Femora I picked up was this Mongrappa Italia identification book with this cool little cartoon on the front showing all sorts of famous people using the Mongrappa pen from Stallone to Batman, Bruce Lee, and more. Very cool. 
And on the inside, it shows all sorts of different Monte Grappa pen models. It shows a little nice little image next to it and describes the pen. Great for IDing pens, and it's going to be a very useful resource for me in my collection. I've only I only own a couple of Monte Grappa pens. Right. I do not own any Mont Grappa pens, but I do plan on adding some to the collection one day. Because they do make some marvelous pieces of art. True craftsmen in their feel. And if you like Mont Grappa, let me know what your favorite pieces are. I also want to add some of their fragrance to my cologne collection. So just a few, a few more basic pens that we picked up. We have some vectors, because of course my wife is a vector collector. These were also gifted to us by our friend Mike here in Janesville. Big shout out to Mike, we appreciate it greatly. Some unique designs and patterns. I really like these planes, a couple plain ones that she didn't have in her collection. Also, a Coca Cola vector and the second Coca Cola vector. My daughter also picked out these inks from Anderson Pens. Anderson Pens has a huge variety of ink sample colors. Check those out if you have the time. Also got an Apple Vector and a Budweiser Vector. My son got himself some Paw Patrol pens. He's seen these and had to snatch them up as fast as he could. He loves the cartoon. I also got a Tommy Thompson Vector. And I picked up this modern Parker Diomite pen. First one of these in my collection. I've seen it. So I had to pick it up. I believe that's around the 90s or 2000s. Not too old. My daughter, she did two scavenger hunts and she earned herself two fountain pens. We got herself a Pilot Varsity. A little disposable fountain pen, but good for kids. A little basic for her, so she didn't get as excited, but she did like this one a lot. This was like a Lamy type pen. It says Be Natural on the case. This is a Lamy type pen. It's transparent with a rainbow nib. And it says... It says Kingshire on the barrel. I'm not really familiar with the brand, but it's a cool pen. It does look very typical to the Lamy Safari or the Lamy All Star. My daughter liked that one an awful lot. Oh, I almost forgot. And there was another plain vector and some basic vector here. I added these to my collection because you guys know I like my ephemera. I got this Lamy Standy. Never been stood up, still crisp. It'll be going in my collection. And I also got this Parker 100 standee with all the original coupons. With all the original mail-in rebates still stuck on. My kids were given these super... My kids were given these spooky 3D printed skulls. There was a guy there that was printing his own 
pen accessories. There's other people there that printed their own pens. But these were the, these were given out to kids, and my kids absolutely adore them. They like the spooky. I got four World Russia USA World Memorial pens that were made from decommissioned, decommissioned missiles during the, the Cold War. I got my wife this Parker Silk Parker Woman's Bandana. First one of these I've seen in she does look pretty cute in it. I also got her a Retro 51 t-shirt. In the front it's got their logo. And on the back it says life is too short to carry an ugly pen. And I've kind of been getting sucked into the Retro 51 pen lines. They are so cool. They have such cool items that I really like. I like all the limited edition lines, and I've been enjoying picking them up. I also picked up this Swiss made Karen Dac, the Swiss made Karen Dac ballpoint pen. So smooth, barely makes a sound. This is a like a heavy grade aluminum, fits nice in my hand, and this is my second Karen Dac pen. I have in my collection. We also got lots of stickers and lots of buttons and swag from the pen show. I just made it that much more fun. That's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing everything we picked up at the 2019 Chicago Pen Show. There was a little of everything from fountain pens, ballpoints, ephemera, and books, and so much more. Some of my favorite items were the Lamy, Lamy Studio, the Retro 51 Chicago Exclusive Pen, the Retro 51 Traveler's Notebooks, and especially the literature. I'm also looking forward to testing out Amra's Mont Blanc, Red Fox, Inc., and so much more. Well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to show the love. Hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell for notifications. Drop a comment. It's greatly appreciated. Until next time, this is Big Bad Brad. Ciao.